what's up you guys let's read some more energy ah let's shuffle these <laughs> the cards want to come out talk to me talk to us what messages do you have for us spirit answers to the highest white light what messages do you have for us Woo! we have the hanged man in the reverse position the hanged man in the reverse position to me is um somebody who um has had an aha moment somebody has realized something uh, very major about their their lives um it's almost like this is very interesting okay so somebody came out of a, a very they were very depressed it looks like here um with the five of cups in the reverse position this is an interesting card okay i hope that you guys can see it um but this dude okay so see he's got like this light bulb this halo up here this aha moment okay it's almost like somebody just realized that they're they're an angel they're being divinely guided they're they're a manifester they this whoever this is they just realize that they're the magician okay because this dude right here he's pulling on these strings okay it's like it's almost like you're you're realizing that you have the power to pull on the strings to shift the fabric of your reality like that's the message that I'm receiving it's like somebody was somebody had to go through some darkness though to realize this that I'm seeing that as well and I have goosebumps I'm feeling that so welcome out of the darkness congratulations you are a master of the universe master your universe first though um okay so we have death in the reverse position like somebody put an ending to something like something is not coming back uh the emperor hmm somebody's boss damn this is good energy i really really like this reading so far um five of pentacles somebody ghosted a situation like somebody bossed up and ghosted a situation they they and this is this is going to bring them a lot of joy in the future like whoa okay somebody's making some boss moves here we might even have somebody who is going to have a, a serious tower moment. I'm also, um, somebody's taking their energy back. Somebody pulled their energy back and somebody is going to have a tower moment because of this. We have a karmic who has been holding on and it's like you or your person or somebody realized. I just heard that they don't give a fuck. <laughs> Somebody, somebody has chosen themselves over the karmic. This is beautiful. I love this energy. Oh my gosh. Queen of Swords. Yeah, the Queen of Swords is somebody... The Queen of Swords is a divine channel. Okay? But the Queen of Swords is somebody who... She's been through it. And she is somebody... And these cards are not gender specific, so it could be male or female, you know? But um, the Queen of Swords is like somebody who like she's been through it and um she she cuts she's very discerning okay so she will cut things out of her life that are that do not fit there all right um and it's like this i feel like this is you you are the queen of swords right now the queen or the king of swords i feel like you're very intellectual as well and that's it's kind of like it it, it may have taken you a while i feel like you went through this this depression and that was that was it took you a while to I'm seeing somebody I'm seeing somebody going through the shadows and intellectually understanding everything that happened there and um that is amazing and um because it, 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 mechanically what that does is it creates you, it, it makes more of an object you're more objective now to all of the things that have happened and, and I feel like somebody understands um, somebody somebody's a badass alchemist I don't even know what else to say you guys but this is fantastic somebody is somebody is an empowered empath and an alchemist and they so just know that there was purpose for that but I feel like they're they're understanding this okay but boundaries and understanding the manipulating basically um the fabric of our reality hmm okay so we have the queen of wands here we have a black cat um black cats are good luck I think they are <laughs> um I saw a black cat just the other day across the street um I was riding my bike there may have been some sort of like a karmic energy um Let's pull some more cards just to kind of clarify a little bit further. I would like to know. The Queen of 
of Wands is also a very um, like sexy queen. So, and again, the cards are not gender specific, but I feel like whoever you are, you are, you are very attractive. You attract a lot of people. You have um, you have a light within you and a presence which helps to um, which helps people. And it's almost like, it's almost, I'm hearing like I, tra I attract a lot of crazy, okay? So like I feel like, I feel like that's kind of like what, what's going on here. You know what I mean? But it's like you took that attractiveness and you turned it into something very helpful and useful. I also feel like somebody's like, I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> I'm not going there anymore. Like I figured out how to get these fuckers out of my life. It's like you went through the darkness. You used your attractiveness, your light. Before it was kind of like you would hide and you're just like, I'm so sick of people, I hate people, but like now you're like, okay, I'm attractive, these people are like, fuck, like, you know, like, just trying to suck my energy, but I have, I have figured them out, I understand how to set boundaries with them so that they really go away, you know, and, um... And like now you're just like really badass. Now you're like sitting in the emperor's in the emperor uh, position. Like you're a, you're a badass boss. Like this was a huge like ego death. It wasn't an ego death. It was like a dark night of the soul. I don't I don't even think it was. Yeah, it could have been that. It was something. It was something. All right, let's pull some more cards. The ancestors, what else? What else, Spirit? What's the message? <laughs> that may have just been the message. Congratulations, you're amazing. <laughs> okay, Nine of Wands. Okay, so I do feel like you are still in like the wounded warrior position, sort of. You know, like, um, you... Uh, it's still okay to rest. I feel like... There is uh, such a, a negative, I feel like people think of resting as like, as a very negative thing. Like it's like, it's not the same as, it's not being lazy, okay? You need to rest and that's okay. I do feel like there are a lot of, um, uh, there, there's, there might be some cords that still need to be cut and resting and helping to raise your frequency will help you to cut those cords further and um, just uh, keep you out of that, f that old frequency um, because I feel like there, you had to come in contact with a lot of people and, um, and you, you're removing yourself from their energy or you're removing their, them from your energy actually. What else, Spirit? And resting will help with that. Huh. I'm also seeing uh, taking a bubble bath as well, and also carnelian will, will also help with that as well. It'll uh, help to uh, cut any sacral chakra attachments uh, from your auric field, uh, taking a bubble bath with carnelian, and um, it will just help to stabilize uh, your um, like emotional uh, frequency, so to speak, okay? Yeah, I feel like you you kind of started to look at things differently. Now we have the King of Swords, and and uh, you said, you know what, I'm just going to boss up. And you started to, to look at things differently. And um, and now you're very discerning, and, and you understand how powerful you are. You're stepping into your power. You might not feel it. Some, some of you might not feel it quite yet. Um, you might not feel how powerful you are, but that's just because you are in the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. Um, you've come out of something, um, this is, this is profound. You've, you've, you're coming out of a pretty profound uh, transformation, okay? I feel like you're very humble. You're, um, you're so humble you don't see how amazing you are. Patience. Um, um, the message that I'm receiving with the Knight of Pentacles is be patient, okay? Be patient with yourself. You're still healing. Eight of Pentacles. I feel like, and it's actually reversed, I feel like the message that I'm receiving with this is um, I know that you want to just jump right back into work, but again, just be patient. Because you're healing. And that doesn't mean that you can't work. 
you know what I mean? But just make sure that you are self-regulating and you understand um, you're listening to your body, okay? And um, if you're working really hard and, and you start to feel somebody else's energy or some energy that does not feel like your own, that's that's when you've you've met, you know, that 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 space where you need to um, go outside and ground, and um, that's that's where. You, um, Yeah, you don't want that to slow you down. Somebody's a workaholic here. <laughs> there may have been like a... We have the Ace of Swords here in the reverse position. This this may have been a karmic cycle also that you may have just removed. Um, a, like a, The Ace of Swords to me in the reverse position is like a fuckboy, okay? It's either a fuckboy or a fuckgirl. The cards are not gender specific. But it's just it's somebody who is who's not particularly honest, it's somebody who is, um, you know, not very stable, somebody who is, you know, not um, interested in growing long term and, and sort of kind of like a, um, is a psychic vampire. Really, that's kind of what fuckboys, fuckgirls, that, that whole situation is. So I feel like you are cleansing yourself from this, you're taking your power back and um, you just need to rest and, um, and uh, Get some sleep and let your ancestors help you heal too. Because when you're running around working, they they can't they can't fall. I mean, they can't help your body heal. You know, like you, you have to like sit in one spot, lay in your bed, just lay there for like you know 30 minutes. Set your alarm, or give yourself an entire day to sleep. That's always good too. Okay. Yeah, we have the strength card in the reverse position. I feel like you you're wearing yourself out. And you've also got the Four of Swords here in the reverse position. This is, you're having a huge awakening. So just trust the process is what I'm hearing. And listen to your body, okay? Four of Pentacles. Your heart is so open. I mean, it's opening, okay? Um, and somebody else, just open your heart is another message that I'm receiving, okay? Um, but somebody else needs to set some strong boundaries, maybe with somebody in the family, okay? With the Ten of Cups in the reverse position and the Queen of Cups. Again, the cards are not gender specific, but I feel like you are somebody who is highly empathic. And during this healing time, you might have some, um, uh, I'm hearing like a narcissistic parent trying to come in and um, get some of that, that good energy. But you need that for yourself. You need to heal yourself um, and, and then you carry that light around and that heals others, okay? Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, we have, this is a mother card. But I also feel like um, you are, you embody the Queen of Pentacles energy, Queen or King, I remember, because they're not gender specific. Um, but it's like, uh, the Queen and the King of Pentacles both are somebody who receive abundance and... Um, and give abundance, and that abundance it could be you know monetary, but it, it can also be energetic, ener energy. Okay, the magician. All right, you are manifesting at a rapid rate. Be careful of your frequency. Set boundaries. What else, spirit? Anything else? Yeah, I feel like that's the reading. I love this reading. It was beautiful. Um. Let me know if it resonated, and um, definitely make sure that you leave a comment. Also, I'm hearing that somebody might need Tiger's Eye, okay? So I'm going to um, leave, I do have that in my Etsy shop. I will leave a link to that in the description box below. I think I also said Carnelian, so I also have that in my Etsy shop. Um, and check that out, and don't forget to like, and um, leave me a comment too. That helps me to be able to tap into your energy a little bit better, so that you are included in these general, um, these general messages, these general readings. And um, subscribe also if you haven't subscribed already. Um, and join the tribe, join the party, and I hope that you guys are all doing really, really great. And thank you for being here. Until next time, thanks guys. Love you guys.